DJ Waldo here, Director of Community at Blue Sky Factory with today's email review. Today we'll be looking at the Ruth Eckerd Hall email. And for those that are unfamiliar with uh, Ruth Eckerd Hall, let me go to their about page quickly so you can see what they're all about. Uh, it says here they're, they're a not-for-profit organization committed to presenting the finest in performing arts and also providing performing arts education to all segments of our community. And they are based in Clearwater, Florida. So this is the email that I'd like to review for them from them. Uh, this email was was sent to me as the web version, so I don't have the you know the, be able to view this with images off or anything. But I was told that the from name on here was Ruth Eckerd Hall, which as as I mentioned often, I think is is critical to have your from name be who you are, who your company is, who your brand is. So it's very recognizable. Because remember, that's the first thing that people see when they get an email, either the subject line or the from name and decide whether or not it's worthy of being open. So when I look at this email, there's um, this area up here is known as the preheader. And what they have is the standard view this email in your web browser, which I think is important to have up there. Um, it's interesting too, I haven't seen this done a lot, but they have their social sharing, I'm sorry, uh, social icons so people can uh, friend them on Facebook, subscribe to their YouTube channel. This looks like Foursquare and then Twitter. But as I say often, it's one thing to put those icons up there. It's another thing to tell me what they are and to tell me what I'm supposed to do and tell me what's in it for me. So I see this missed very often, just throwing up those icons. And you have to be very, very clear with people and tell them explicitly what they're supposed to do and what is in it for them. My assumption is when I click on this, I'm going to then go to their Twitter page or their Facebook page. And um, But that's great, but why should I do that? So as I look at this email, looks like this was one that was sent out last week and I'm told they send out a, a Wednesday uh, email. So as you scroll down this, uh, the, the header and everything I really like because it's very consistent with their website. We looked at their website earlier. They have the same color scheme. However, as I go down the right hand side here, it, it is interesting to me. It's, it's hard to see. You can't necessarily see this, but these are all bit.ly links. So they're using a, a URL shortener and I'm assuming they're doing that for tracking purposes, although they're Email service providers should be able to do track those emails as well. But I did click on this earlier, and all of these go to unique landing pages. Uh, one thing I did notice, though, for the events that have already happened, so these two events happened on Sunday, uh, it goes to a dead page. So one thing you may want to consider is, is having some type of redirect there of, of at least indicating this event is over. I do like that there's a, a, a large image here. I'm assuming that this would, that, that I'm not sure what's behind this image, what kind of alt tag if somebody's looking at this email with images off. But obviously it's a very recognizable person. It's Al Pacino. Uh, and the, the copy underneath it is clear. So you, you'll notice that as I hover over these, the picture is clickable. The link is clickable. There's also a buy now and a more now, uh, I'm sorry, more information button that are both also clickable. And I think that's really critical is making sure you're giving people as many options as possible to click. So this is clearly the main call to action of this particular email is to buy these Al Pacino tickets. This is the stuff that's above the fold. I like also that they have this ability to share it. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on that just to show you what happens when you do hit share. And the screen software I'm using, you can't see this all the way, but there's the ability for me to write something and then it's going to post this entire uh, article and so it's good, I and mean, it's good. It allows you to socially share this. But as I mentioned before, what I'd like to see down here is some type of incentive or some type of reason to share. Why should I share? Uh, also, if you're going to have the Facebook sharing option, I'd also have the ability to tweet out a link to that too. Um, remember, the Twitter and Facebook audiences tend to be, there's definitely some crossover, but they tend to be different. So give both of those options. And as far as the rest of the email goes, I also like that they've got some other announcements down here. It's just very clean looking. Everything has this share ability. Um, interesting to me that the, 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 they're maybe testing out some of these buttons because the wording is different. Some say overview, view camps, become a member. Um, but they've got a lot of information here. It's a very long newsletter, and I'm curious to see if people are clicking all the way at the bottom as well. Uh, you'll see the very bottom, they've got these connect with. Uh, I like this, but based on the color scheme, it is definitely a little bit buried. And if they want people to join or to enroll, this stuff is good, but it's, again, very much buried at the bottom. So, again, those are some suggestions for the Ruth Eckerd Hall. This is DJ Waldo, Director of Community at Blue Sky Factory, with today's email review.